Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jack, and today we're here with some more Skyblock, episode number 13. And in this episode, guys, actually, before I even tell you the episode, let, let, let me try something out. Before we start this episode, let's go for 40 slobbery likes. I know you guys can do it. Uh, I hope you guys will enjoy the video enough to like it. And uh, hopefully you'll like it enough with all your slobber because, as you guys know, of course, the more slobbery it is, the better it is, and the more it means in my heart. So, last episode, we almost finished up the mob spawner, and I was probably going to finish it. Uh, unfortunately, I kind of fell through when I was uh, flipping over these uh, fence po or these um, trap doors, so... In this episode, we're actually going to be finishing it up, and I'll probably still have a lot of time left over. I'll probably have, like, maybe 10 minutes left. And I'll spend those uh, 10 minutes-ish or whatever I have left, uh, and I'll build the little swimming, uh, swimming pool slash uh, fishing pool. So, I'm sorry if you guys see a little bit of lag. I am rendering a video right now, because uh, I gotta, you know, hurry and get these stuff grinded out. So... Hope you guys don't mind that. Uh, anyway, uh, I have to make an infinite water source here first because I gotta place two water blocks on each thing, and so I have to make an infinite pool here. So, uh, where should I make this? How about we make it? Mm, should I just like make it right here? Um, I guess I'm gonna have to. So I'll just make it right here for now. I'll just do this and then like that, and beautiful. I have an infinite pool. I'll just do that and jump that. All right. So actually, before I place the water, I was about to place the water down. Um, I'm gonna just I'm gonna grab these signs and basically what I'm gonna be doing with these signs is I'm gonna be placing them in such a form so that uh, the water can't get uh, through the signs because if of course if water is seeping down there the water will continuously go down to the bottom and the mobs won't take any damage because they'll just ride the water down there so I have to make sure that the water goes from the back of or these like edges but it stops right here so that the water will reach them it'll carry them to the hole but it won't carry them it won't carry them too short and it, the water won't last too long so what I, I'm gonna do Hold on, make sure I can make this jump. Okay, so I'm going to place one here, here, and then make this amazing parkour jump. What a leap. Place one, oop, did not mean to put a letter there. Put one there and there. And then also what I have to do, I don't know why this is glitching up with the lighting. Um, but anyway, I don't exactly know why you have to do this, but I just know it works. So I'm not going to, you know, judge how this guy made it and how much it works. So uh, now you have to place one on top of here. Just put one like that. And it's kind of ugly, but thankfully you never have to actually look at it. Um, because, of course, you're just, you know, you'll never actually be up here. So, place it like that. Boom. And then, like, that. Boom. So, now, no water can seep through, but, uh, mobs and the player can seep through. So, and now I'm gonna take these buckets of water, and I'm gonna place them in the corners. And so, see, look, the water goes right to the signs, and then these signs help push it back, and then these signs completely push it back. So, the water can't seep through. So, now I grab some more water here, and I put it in this little area. And then I grab a couple more buckets of water, and I make a jump and put them in this area. Actually, this is kind of a dangerous thing, because I'm not sure if I can make the jump. All right, hopefully I won't die from this. And, okay, good, I made it. Um, actually, I can't get out of here from here, so hold on, I gotta... I gotta figure out a way to get out of here. Uh, let's uh, let's get rid of one of these source blocks, and let's. Um, hmm, how am I gonna do this? I probably shouldn't have jumped down here, uh, cause I'm kind of screwed now. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Uh, can I wait? Can I get from here? Can I can I glitch this? No, I don't think I can glitch this. Ah, oh, dang it! I can't glitch that. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna grab this and I'm gonna place that right up here. All right, there we go. And make sure that water all gets destroyed. All right, beautiful. And now all I have is this. Um, and uh, let's get rid of this. So now I only have uh, the two source blocks here. I think these are source blocks, right? Uh, yes, yeah, these are source blocks. All right, now I have my two source blocks here. And then I'm going to destroy all this cobblestone. And look at that, beautiful. So now what's going to happen is... After I remove the torches, and uh, I'll probably just kill myself to jump down because I don't feel like getting out of here uh, in an efficient manner. And it doesn't really matter if I die. Um, I'm going to remove these torches. And then when I stand down there, things are going to be able to spawn um, on these uh, platforms, these 3x3 three three platforms. And um, uh, the, they'll walk over here. They'll, they'll do their roaming thing. Normally, they won't uh, jump down here as much. But because of these uh, fence po or these... Uh, Trap doors, I keep calling them fences. Um, they'll walk around aimlessly until they, like, oh, this is just a normal block, right? And they'll fall in here, and then, no, they'll be taken to their doom. So basically, let me act like a mob here for a second. Hold on, let me let me remove the torches, and I'm going to see if I can actually pick up the torches. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm going to pick up all the torches. And then, okay, beautiful. And, okay, hopefully it's not too dark when I remove this last torch, but I don't know. 
And, okay, it's pretty dark now. So basically what's going to happen, I'm going to keep this completely uh, dark. And they're going to be like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And they're not going to know what they're doing. And they're going to go in here and be like, do, 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 dead. So that's what's going to happen. They'll die. And then let me go back to the island. And after they die, they will, um, they'll spawn, or they'll, they'll die, and then their, uh, loot that they drop will be here. Now, I don't exactly know how, whoa, what happened there? My mouse just did some weird thing. Uh, I don't exactly know how, uh, far away I have, to, or how far away I can be. Probably can't be too far away. I mean, I think they can still spawn, uh, from here. Um, so, I think from here, things should already start to be spawning. Considering especially the uh, amazing spawn rates that are on Warside for some reason, or on this uh, Skybox server. I don't exactly know, um, but they should... Oh, I already see a spider up there. See that? Um, I think spiders are a little harder to uh, get down here because they are so... Um, they can grip the walls. Oh, wait. I got company. Oh, he's dead. Oh, 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 double kill. Oh, look at that baby zombie. Oh, see, look, they're all dead. And... All right, let's see if there's any more up here. Yeah, so anyway, spiders are probably um, the hardest ones to get down here because they can grip the walls and also because they're uh, bigger bodies, so they probably won't, they don't fit through as well. Um, oh, and I almost forgot to mention because I was starting at the top of the uh, the thing. Uh, again, thank you guys so much, MitziXD, Heart, and Akapupu for using the code SWIRL8 and getting that 10% off on the MC Warside Bycraft and getting a little extra spot in my heart. And then, of course, all you subscribers, you guys are all special too, but not as special in my heart. So, thank you, MitziXD and Akapupu. I, I love you. Um... So anyway, I don't know if I should, you guys should show you any more of the mob spawner. I don't exactly know how much uh, it's going to have like an effect on, on camera. Because it's probably just going to be more of a thing that I used for uh, grinding purposes to get all the stuff. Um, and again, I, I'm not exactly sure where I have to stand to get stuff to spawn. Probably like anywhere outside here is fine. Uh, I don't... Oh, I see a... No, I don't think I see anything. Maybe I see a spider up there. Um, anyway, it should probably... It should work pretty well, I think. I don't... Oh! Oh! Whoa! Oh, okay, that guy scared me. Oh! Oh, okay, it'll give me a little heart attack there. Oh my god, look at everything that's dying. I could probably just stick, stand right here and uh, let everything die. And uh, okay, maybe what I'll probably do is I'll stand like right here. Um, and then I'll just like let everything die. Um, so yeah, I don't need this this stuff. And I'm not getting XP because I'm not the one killing them. Again, if I ever want to make it uh, an XP oriented thing, all I have to do is like add a couple blocks here and they won't, they'll take like a half a heart less and then they'll be at half a heart and then I punch them and then they're dead. So... Anyway, I still have, like, uh, 13 minutes or whatever. I, I, I Not like I'm counting. <laughs> um, anyway, let us go and make our little swimming fishing pool, and I'm going to do some 360 no-scopes from it. Um, I still have yet to destroy all the debris on the side. Uh, if I ever do, then it'll definitely be off camera. Um, but most likely I won't because I'm very lazy. Uh, ooh, look, a melon grew finally. Finally, I can finally start planting stuff. All right, please give me a lot of melons. Uh, five. All right, that's pretty decent. Oh, and the, the, the stock doesn't go away. I kind of, I didn't realize that. All right, very nice. Now I have a lot of seeds, and my melon farm is almost done. All right, so there we go. Now I should actually start getting some more food. Ooh, my wheat has all grown. I will place all these seeds. Oh, yeah, that wheat was trying to get away from me. Yeah, sucker. Um, all right, so now place these seeds like so, and now look, and look at my potato farm. Whoa, that potato farm. All right, I'm gonna plant. I'm gonna dig up this whole thing really fast. Look at this. The amount of potatoes I have now. See, this is this is why I said how important the potato farm was gonna be. Cause look at how much food I now have. I will never go hungry again. And because of all the wood I have from that jungle tree that I chopped, or all the jungle trees that I chopped down, and all the extra wood I got from the side of the jungle tree. Oh my God, I am rolling in not only the wood for charcoal purposes to cook stuff in the furnace, or not? No, that wouldn't be charcoal. I have the wood to use as a uh, smelting material in the furnace, and then I also have the potatoes so that they're cooked, and then I have cooked potatoes, or not cooked, baked potatoes. Yeah, yeah, now I'm starting to now I'm starting to eat healthy and eat right and just not die of starvation or do slash feed every five minutes. So good for me. I'm very happy with myself. And look at that. I have almost I have two stacks of potatoes practically. That is beautiful. I don't exactly know. Is there a potato farmer thing? Let me check challenges really fast. Uh there are let's see I have why is novice builder oh it's green that means it's done I don't know why cobblestone is light green and apple is light green but novice builder is dark green um and apparently there is no uh potato farmer because you don't spawn you don't you don't start the thing with potatoes so I don't think it's uh I don't think they can rely on you getting that so 
Oh well, uh, I still have to make the uh, other farms. I'll probably do that later on. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that next episode. Who knows what I'll do? Uh, I still have to, you know, expand everything in another direction and still do that. And that's kind of more. That might be work I do off camera. Who, who knows? I, I just just let me know what you guys think. So. Anyway, now it is time in this episode that we go and make the, uh, the whatchamacallit, the, the swimming pool thing that I've been talking about for quite a while. Uh, let me go drop off all this stuff and pick up all my stuff that I need. Uh, I'll leave a stack in my inventory. I'll, I'll leave 37 in my inventory. There we go. Uh, bring this, bring my bow, uh, my arrows, and food, and anything else I need. I don't really need a shovel. I'll bring my sticks and my wood. Okay. And I'll put this away and this away and this away. And bam. All right. I think I'm good. Whoop. All right. I'm not organized it by any means, but uh, YOLO, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was looking for any word that I could use there, and I guess YOLO works because YOLO constitutes any crazy action that you do. So it all works. So, all right. Now I actually have to, I have to go grab my buckets. I, I just put those away. I got to go grab them again. Um, it's a shame I only have two buckets, and I could make more with my iron ingots, but I prefer to use them on iron tools if I ever start using those. Um, so let's see. What do I have to do now? I have to go get water. Water is right here. Beautiful. And then I'm going to build it actually right here. I'm going to build it over here. I was going to put it uh, on the other side of this, but uh, I don't think it'd be very big. So how about I, what I do is I build it uh, a couple blocks down, and it's going to go out to that that far. So, all right, I'm going to break all these uh, cobblestone fences. You guys served me well for a while, guys, but uh, I'm, on, I'm sorry, but you got to go. Um, all right, now how am I going to go down? How, how much should I go down first? Should I go down like five, maybe five? I think um, like three or four is the limit for no matter how far high you jumped into it, you'll survive. Um, maybe it's only two. I don't know. I think it's at least three. So, and I also want it to be kind of deep so that I can actually, uh, you know, go fishing and I, because, you know, sometimes if the water's not deep enough, you throw it and it just gets stuck on the bottom and you can't catch any fish. Uh, so I want to make sure that that does not happen very easy. So I'm going to grab some water and I'm going to build down here and oh wait there's still that one little cobblestone right there oh no wait that's for the the water okay uh, i was making sure that wasn't a design flaw because that would have made me go crazy um all right so let's go down five i guess let's go down one two three four five i'll build a nice deep pool all right now let me get back up here come on let, let me get back up here i just want to i just want to Get back up here and finish up my pool, and I'll start eating on my way up, because why not multitask? Okay, and beautiful. Okay, so now, wait, can I actually reset from here? Oh, I can't reset from here, can I? Oh, yeah, yeah, this is annoying. Okay, I have to go back down there, and I have to place uh, a couple blocks. This is actually going to require a lot of cobblestone, so I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to grab some cobblestone. Um, hopefully, I can finish this episode, or this uh, pool up in this episode. I might not be able to. I don't exactly know how long it's going to take. Um, I just know that it's going to take uh, quite a bit of cobblestone and probably a good 10 more minutes. Uh, so I'm probably going to have to finish this up next episode. But uh, for now, um, I'm going to place water right here and just so I can get a good vantage point. And then place blocks like so. All right, now I have somewhere to stand. And now let us go. All right, let's start building the walls of the pool. So let's go like this. Like that, like that. I don't really have anything else than cobblestone that I have that's like an easy resource to get. So, uh, sorry if you guys want me to build with something else, but I don't have much. Um, all right, let's see if I can get it from here. I can, very nice. And good, okay. So now, how far am I gonna make it? I'm gonna make it over out to there. So let's start building this way. And, uh, not there yet, okay. Let's get out to here. All right, all right, I'm there now. Uh, but this is actually going to be where the wall is, because I want it to be all symmetrical. So this is going to be the last place where there's water, and this is going to start the wall. All right, now let's build out this a little bit. Okay, whoop, did not mean to do that. And I could have just made this above ground and made it uh, up in the air, but I wanted it to look cooler, so I wanted it to look, like, built into the complex. So, you, you know, it, it's, it, it makes sense. I mean, it's a little more time-consuming, but whatever. YOLO, right? Yeah. So, okay, build like this, and then like that. Beautiful. That, that is simply marvelous. I hear a skeleton. Oh, it's right there! Sorry, muchacho! Get out of here. Oh, I can see his health bar. I can tell where he is. Alright, I want to know where he came from. 
Wait, hold on. I could kill him with one shot. Boom, dead. And oh, his stuff fell off. Okay, I need to make sure. I need. I need to find out where things are spawning and light it up a little bit more. If you guys know exactly where it is, I don't. I don't know. I I play on bright because I don't like it being all moody and dark, and I like it being nice and cheery. So I can't honestly tell where spots are that are really dark. Um. So if you guys could let me know if you if you do somehow know, then uh, that'd be much appreciated. Much obliged. Um. Okay. So. I'm gonna move this water source. I'm gonna move it over here to the corner so I can, so it's not in the way. Uh, grab that and put it right there. Beautiful. Okay, actually that's, eh, it's fine. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to build out over here, like so, and all right, start building downwards from here, and. Okay, magnifique. Beautiful. All right, now if I can remove that from here, that'd be nice and. Uh, simply marvelous. Simply, simply wunderbar. Whatever, whatever that German thing is, I don't exactly know. It, which is funny, because I'm like a, a fourth German, but whatever. I, don't, I never learned German, so don't don't judge me. Uh, okay, so bam, like that. And actually, no, I'm supposed to keep that one there. Okay, making sure. Um, Alright, it's actually looking pretty good. I thought this was going to be a lot more complicated than it's turning out to be. Um, now the question is, do I put a fence gate around it? I don't think it really matters. Um, so probably not. Uh, but who knows? Only time will tell what I end up putting around it. So let's finish building the wall here because I want to make sure I feel nice and safe while I'm in here. So if a skeleton comes by, it doesn't, you know, one shot me and I'm off the map forever. And I'm, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't lose anything, but you know, I still don't like dying. It doesn't make me feel good about myself. It hurts my self-esteem more than anything. Um, so yeah, by the looks of time, I think we're going to be able to finish this up or this, uh, pool in time. I won't be able to, I'll, I'll have enough time for like one 360 no scope. So, don't you guys worry your little head off. Uh, Alright, like so. Wait, wait, I'm supposed to build like that? Yeah, I'm supposed to build right there. Okay, making sure I make everything all even and there's not a block out of place or something that doesn't look like the rest. And, okay, I have to somehow get to that block right there. Uh, can I get it if I... No, okay. I gotta... Hmm, how am I gonna do this? How did I do it over here? I have no idea. How did I, how did I, how did I do this? Um, hmm, uh, if I could borrow the water for a second, I could do it from here. All right, let's try it from here. Actually, can I, can I do it from here? Oh, I, no, I can, right there, beautiful, okay. Maybe I could have reached that from before, but I honestly didn't see it, so, whatever. If I did more work than usual, then, oh well. Um, all right, now I just have to do like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like that, like, oh, like that, like that, and beautiful, I am done. Well, I'm done with the, the actual hole part. I'm not done with the, the water part of it. You know, the actual pool part of it. Um, actually, I just realized, I completely forgot. I have to make the, uh, the uh, because when I make pools, I don't know if anyone else does this. I, I'm probably not the only one. I always do it where it only goes uh, one block deep. And then I destroy it after the water sources are placed. Because if you guys didn't know, if you're making a pool ever, I've made a lot in survival. Um, if you're making a pool, uh, you if you try to you you can't place enough source blocks everywhere, so that's all even from the place I'm in right now. So actually, I should get rid of this too. All right, let's get rid of that. I have to play. I have to find new places to put my torches now, though. So I'll just put one here for now. Um, actually, that looks pretty nice, right? I could just have a nice big pool here. I'll probably put a, I'll put fence gates over there. Yeah, I'll put fence gates over there, and uh, maybe I'll block this off a little bit more so there's only one, or like a two block thing I can enter from. Yeah, here's what I'll do. I'll put the fence gates so that they're right here, and then I'll have like uh, an opening over here for two, and an opening over here for two. So, all right, now I just have to place a uh, bunch of cobblestone right here so that I have enough um, cobblestone to place enough source blocks on, and then I'll sure break them from there, uh, but that is a tedious process, so I might do that off camera, actually, it's not a tedious process, uh, but I probably will still do off camera, because it's not, uh, fascinating work, um, so do that, and now I just have to place a bunch of source blocks, and let's grab my buckets of water here, and now I just have to spam these buckets of water everywhere, oh, oh did not mean to do that, I meant to place water, um, place water here, and then after I finish up the source box, the episode will be completed. Yes, alright, place it in this corner, and then place it in this corner, and now I just have to keep spamming water everywhere. Uh, I, know, I don't know the physics behind, uh, water, and making sure every block is filled in, so I'm not gonna bother trying to figure it out. Uh, whoa, that, uh, that glitched for a second, I was scared. Alright, just keep placing water until it all evens out, that's, uh, that's the motto. Just keep trying things until it works. Uh, how about there? And then how about right here? All right, see that that evens out some of this uh, back left corner. And now let's try it from here. Beautiful. And oh, look, everything is even. 
Ah, and I'll place this one water buck here for, because why not? Uh, and now, yeah, you know what? I'm going to destroy this off camera, and then I will do, um, actually, should I? I want to get my 360 no scope off camera. Actually, I'm going to make you guys wait for that. So, I'm sorry, guys. Wait, like, two or three more days. I think it's going to be, the next one's going to be in three more days. So, uh, I'm sorry about that, but uh, get hyped. If you want to make sure, or if you want to, if you want to make sure that I actually end up recording uh, the one where I sh dive into this with a 360 no scope. If you guys want to support the 360 no scopes, please click the like button with all your slobber. The more slobbery, the better it is. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you later. Bye.